Welcome back, Shinana Gang, and we are here for another episode of One Piece. And it is episode 1094. So, last episode was pretty intense. My goodness, um, Blackbeard versus Law. And honestly, I mean, I know what's going to happen. I know what's gonna, you know, what's going to turn out. But I'm not really sure if they're going to show it this episode. And yes, I just want to take time to thank you, this user who told me who the director for last episode is. Thank you so much because I actually didn't have time to search that anymore. I was busy. Yeah, went on with other stuff in my life or other videos that need to be edited for the channel. But yes, thank you so much. Let's give credit to those who deserve it thank you thank you again and you know guys i don't want to prolong this intro i just want to see what's next you know what let's just dive right in <laughs> oh yeah this was two episodes ago oh we're going to go back to bonnie the drop Oh shit. Okay. So we're going to find out more about Bonnie and Kuma, I guess. I mean, that is a clone of Kuma, so. Oh my god. Even the same voice. Yeah, might be stronger. Huh. What the fuck? Oh, right. Go freaking use. <laughs> Oh, Jimbe! Oh, no! Oh, because he's a child. He doesn't pose as a threat. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Exactly. Clutch move. I actually forgot that Bonnie had the food at this moment. <laughs> his knee gave out. Oh, back. I thought that was his knee. His back. Oh. <laughs> 70 years possible future <laughs> yeah because he's a t tyrant if only they knew! Th that's a freaking lightsaber there. <laughs> Holy shit! He got distracted! Oh no! <laughs> oh, they would be out of <laughs> they would be out of it. 
Wow. They should do that to Sunny or install that in Sunny. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Kill. Okay. Do you think that you guys think that Vega Force 1 is inspired by the Iron Giant? I mean, is it just me? I it just dawned on me. It's, Iron Giant is one of my favorite movies when I was little. <laughs> Labo face. Oh. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Oh! I did not expect that. How the heck? Who is that? Oh, okay. Edison. I feel like... Are they gonna chop them? I don't remember this part at all. <laughs> No. <laughs> Mirai kick. See, this is freaking sus. I don't remember this. Okay, thank you. Is it the Vegapunk's rooms? Oh shit. Oh, two possibilities. Hey. There will never be a uh, Jinbe look alike, but yeah. What is with Edison? I don't remember them having a... Here, I don't know what's up. Shit! That is sus. That is sus. Watch the preview again. So, <laughs> before everything else, can we get an update about Law and Blackbeard? Please. I was looking forward to this episode regarding that because last episode's animation and everything was insane. Now we like randomly go back to Egghead Island. I mean, Okay, I don't want to complain and everything, but that cliffhanger of an episode is nasty. Yeah, I forgot to mention earlier that last episode, we found out that Pudding was abducted by the Blackbeard Pirates and Kuzan is working with them right now. So, yes, I have a faint idea of why Pudding was abducted because I think none of Blackbeard's crewmates could possibly read the Poneglyphs. Yeah, I think sometime in Whole Cake Island, Big Mom mentioned that Pudding, if she was able to awaken the ability of her third eye, she's going to be able to read the Poneglyphs too. So that was the reason of her being abducted. But still can't figure out why Kuzan is working with the Blackbeard Pirates and the fact that Blackbeard was able to obtain a strong ally like that damn he's like you know the level of his force to be reckoned with is insane so fuck <laughs> that's all I can say so Please, if you know anything about that, especially why Kuzen is working with them, please let me know in the comments too because I am lost and I am fuming that we didn't get any update regarding that too. Okay, going back to this episode, I mean, I completely forgot that Bonnie has the ability to make people old, young, 
and vice versa. And I was actually thinking that we are going to learn more about the relationship between Bonnie and Kuma. Like, um, what happened to them? Why were they separated? Why Kuma was known as the tyrant? Because Bonnie was claiming she, he wasn't at all. It was, I feel like, again, the government's doing. <laughs> the lightsaber! Can we talk about the lightsaber that she used? <laughs> that was such an that was such a Star Wars reference and the fact that I feel like Vega Force 1 is a reference from the Iron Giant like I mentioned earlier I mean Oda Oda I love you so much and then yeah Edison yeah what are you thinking well, why why did Lilith um leave the straw hats to Edison and then completely leading them to a seraphim Jimbe's seraphim what the heck and i didn't notice before the green stuff but what, what is that what liquid is that i mean is that necessary for seraphim i'm not really sure uh, i don't remember like i said i do i already did read this i don't even remember the interaction between Jimbe and bonnie in the manga anymore so this was uh, yeah this was a great refresher and can we talk about the last moment of this episode shaka and dragon the interaction between shaka and dragon holy shoot okay so um i'm not really sure if shaka is talking about the Vegapunk, the Vegapunk himself dying soon or just Shaka, Shaka himself or like all of the Vegapunks that were separated and the main one so I don't know, I don't remember about that and yeah, can anyone like <laughs> explain how the Pyrobloin or what the Pyrobloin is? I, okay, the only thing that I understood that it's like a component from the Kairoseki or the sea stone and that's that's just about it I mean I don't know I don't understand anything else <laughs> so yeah <laughs> that's it for your reaction you guys thank you for tuning in um if you like the video please drop a like drop a comment uh, let us know let, let me know what your thoughts um, drop comments with you know other facts that I missed and yeah uh, don't forget to subscribe Please, please, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, um, let us know in the comments also what other One Piece videos that you like um, to see me show Morgan. Because still figuring out when to start One Piece. I mean, uh, Morgan is almost there. I see she's actually more convinced now. Uh, within the week, we will be releasing the breathtaking world of One Piece reaction. So please watch out for that. And yes, we already have a Patreon. If you guys didn't know, you can support us there also. I post full uncut reactions there. Early access. And we also released Grave of the Fire Pla Flies reaction there. It's Patreon exclusive. We're also releasing uh, Zom 100 full uncut reactions, a sign of affection. We're watching that weekly as well. So please head on to Patreon, support us if you like. The link is down in the description below. And yes, that's it. Don't forget to follow us on our socials as well. And one other thing, if you follow us or um, become a member in our Patreon, you could definitely talk to us more there. And yeah, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, please take care, stay safe, have a great day, have a great week, and we will see you on our next video or reaction. Bye!